Aviva is excited to introduce the Unified Operations Center, the foundation for real-time operational performance management, providing closed-loop enterprise-wide visibility to optimize your assets and operations. In this video, we'll follow an operator of a natural gas plant as they troubleshoot a problem and see how the context-rich application integration of Aviva's InTouch Operations Management Interface gives them the ability to quickly identify the problem, take direct action to restore the production, and take appropriate corrective action, including verification, to solve the longer-term problem, all within the single InTouch OMI application. Let's get started. This dashboard provides the operator with an overview of the plant's current and recent states. By combining real-time displays of several key performance indicators, including targets, current values, and integrated trends, alongside live video feeds from cameras throughout the plant. At the top of the screen, the breadcrumb-style navigation menu allows the operator to select and view different areas of the plant. Let's follow along as they move from this main overview to the liquid natural gas production area. Similar to the plant-wide dashboard, this real-time screen gives a more detailed operational view of the four stages of liquid natural gas production. Notice that the stylized P&ID diagram with real-time value feeds has been added in the main area, and an alarm and events tabular display is now visible at the bottom of the screen. This is filtered to only show items that are relevant to the currently selected area. These new items came into view because they represent key pieces of information for the operator's current context. In other words, because the operator selected the liquid natural gas area, InTouch OMI responded automatically by bringing in pertinent information related to that context. Using the slide-in pane on the right, the operator can get a quick view of the plant's four distilling columns all at once, including the scrubber, the deethanizer, the depropanizer, and the debutanizer. Note that these are live, scaled-down versions of the actual displays, not looks like there's a problem in the plant. We can see in the dashboard KPI the overall production of liquid natural gas has dropped to zero. The operator needs to quickly identify the source of the problem and get it resolved so production can resume. The context-aware navigation menu at the top displays real-time aggregated and prioritized alarm information, including the count and severity of alarms for each of the areas represented in the menu. This gives the operator an immediate awareness of where the problem is originating the deethanizer is where the problem is, so the operator selects that area. Deethanizer detail screen is divided into four areas. The stylized P&ID, the alarm and events display at the bottom, and on the right, there's the integration menu at the top and the equipment faceplates taking up the rest of that area. The operator can see that the deethanizer is at zero production and can see an alarm indicator surrounding the reflux pump, J9002A, in both the stylized P&ID and the pump's faceplate. Specifically, the faceplate shows that the pump's motor has tripped. Using the integration menu, the operator explores data from other applications, automatically presented in context of where their attention is right now. Clicking the CCTV icon, for example, displays the camera feeds for the current area. And selecting the AvivaNet 2D icon brings in an interactive display of the actual P&ID from AvivaNet's engineering database. Notice how it is automatically zoomed in to focus on the currently selected problem area, pump J9002A. The purple line color shows that it is the currently selected asset. The operator zooms out of the P&ID to get a better understanding of the technical context of the selected pump and verifies the troubled pump appears to have a backup partner, J9002B, which is currently idle. But before starting the supposed backup pump to restore production, the operator wants to verify that the J9002A is an equivalent pump and that it was designed to act as a standalone pump. This is where the power of InTouch OMI comes through giving Aviva's Unified Operations Center the ability to deliver a single version of truth 
by unifying all the operational and engineering data into a single context. Notice how, when the operator selects the AvivaNet 1D icon, the engineering specification from AvivaNet for the selected pump is displayed on the right. Because InTouch OMI's context infrastructure is bidirectional, selecting a different item in the PNID will drive that same display to automatically refresh with the data for that item. Another powerful integration of engineering data is the Aviva 3D Visualization Service, giving operators an interactive display of the 3D engineering model created during design and construction. Just like the other integrations, the 3D diagram detects the operator's current context and automatically zooms in on the pump. The operator can select other items in the 3D diagram and explore the rest of the 3D model. Now that the operator is satisfied that J9002B is, in fact, a viable backup pump, they check one last place to make sure that it's okay to start the pump, the maintenance system. Selecting the Avantis icon in the integration menu brings in a display of the maintenance records for all the items in the currently selected area. The operator can see that the primary pump, J9002A, was actually scheduled for maintenance about a month ago but it was pressed back into service due to short-term production demands. The operator returns to the deethanizer detail screen and starts the backup pump. The real-time control system confirms that the pump has started and that production has been restored. Now that the immediate problem has been resolved, the operator acknowledges the alarm adding a note about their diagnosis and resolution. Notice how the red alarm border surrounding the failed pump has stopped flashing. This is because while the pump is still in alarm, it's tripped, it's lower severity now because the operator has acknowledged the alarm. Now that the pump has been repaired, notice how the status in the faceplate has changed to stopped rather than tripped, and that the alarm border is no longer displayed. The operator now starts the primary pump, J9002A, and then stops the backup pump. To verify the maintenance was completed, the operator uses the integration menu and brings Avantis into focus in the main area of the application. In this case, the operator chooses to use the Avantis search function to locate the information they want, rather than relying on InTouch OMI's context system. They get the same end result, a view of the closed maintenance record, although with a little extra work and time. The operator finishes the job by acknowledging the alarms which were generated when the overall production dropped to an unacceptable level. Clearing those alarms returns the system to normal operating state. We hope that you've gained some insight into the power of the Unified Operations Center and how it breaks down silos between operations, maintenance, and engineering, and brings information from all those disciplines into real-time context for operators. Thank you for watching.